On Monday, Ben and Jerry's announced that they will no longer sell their products in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. This statement showcases the company's anti-Israeli stance and it's supported by this BDS movement, a movement that I frankly consider anti-Semitic in so many ways. If you read their stuff, that's where it goes. Next to New York City, we have the largest Jewish population in the United States of America. We are 780,000 residents strong in the town of Hempstead. We are larger at this point than six to seven states. So by doing this, we are hoping to start to send a message, a message that we are tired of companies like Ben and Jerry's taking actions that are clearly anti-Israel. How do we know Ben and Jerry's are anti-Semitic? The evidence. Do they say anything about Cuba? Today, later on, Don and I will be going to a pro-freedom Cuba rally. Do they talk about the oppression in Cuba? Do they say we're not going to sell our products in Cuba? How about Venezuela? Do they say anything about Venezuela? China, Russia, Yemen, North Korea? No. They single out Israel. Why? Because it's a Jewish state. And we should all be mindful of that, and we should not tolerate that anti-Semitism. And here, here is a list. This is just the first page. You recognize some of these products. It's not just Ben and Jerry's. It's Dove Men Care, Dove Soap, Lipton Tea, Hellman's Mayonnaise, to name a few. They are part of the Unilever organization. We will not do business with them. And we are urging residents of the town of Hempstead, who are fair-minded, good people, to boycott them. Let them know what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. Having lived in America as an African American, I can understand exactly how the Jewish people feel. I felt this way for many times, many times in my life because of my color. Only because of my color, not because of who I am. So the Jewish people have always been friends of mine. Only because of the fact that you're being treated the same way as I am and still am. So we just work together and make sure that we make it right. All of us are going to make sure, all of our people, right, Don? Not it. one of them will purchase anything from these companies. So thank you so much, and God bless all of you. All we have to do is work together and stick together as one. And let us be clear that we stand on the steps in the seat of our government here in the town of Hempstead with nearly 800,000 residents to send a message, not just here in the town of Hempstead, but to every corner of the nation and even across the sea, that Ben and Jerry's, they're wrong. They're wrong for peace, they're wrong for our allies, and they are certainly wrong for our Jewish neighbors. Today is a day that we're sending a message we're sending a message far and wide that this township, the largest one in the nation, stands with Israel and we will not tolerate hate any further. If you're going to boycott um, places in Israel and you're not going to stand up against Iran, you are anti-Semitic. You are not social justice warriors, you are economic terrorists. To not recognize that what you are actually doing is hurting the very cause you propose to stand for. You are hurting the Palestinian Arabs by taking their jobs away. Ben and Jerry's, I grew up liking Cherry Garcia just like the rest of you. Um, I haven't had Ben and Jerry's in over 20 years. Um, ben and Jerry, the individuals, have stood behind their own Judaism. Uh, to propose and, and hurt the Jewish people and Israel uh, on whole. And today, that has come completely, complete 180. This is a major move. This is the first public move fighting back against this kind of BDS by Ben and Jerry's and by anybody else. And this is crucial. This is crucial. I am sure it will be followed. In fact, we're just hearing now possibly Texas is going to take a stand. Israel has a uniquely fantastic human rights record. Israel's human rights record is like this, like right here in the town of Hempstead. It crosses religions, it crosses 
creed and color, it doesn't matter. Israel stands for freedom and justice and rightness, and that's what the town of Hempstead is doing today. So on behalf of the American Center for Law and Justice, I am proud that this is my town. I am proud that I leave from here to travel around the country to take this message, this action, and show leadership that this town has taken around the country and around the world. We're taking the first stance in the town of Hempstead. We stand with our allies. We stand with our residents, and we stand with all of you. All of you could be here, all of you at home. And Councilman Blakeman made one important point. It's just not Ben and Jerry's, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot more. Unilever represents a lot of stores, and I can tell you tonight, I'm going to be going through my cupboards, and I'm going to be throwing it all away. And in the Clavin household, I do the grocery shopping. So I know what's going to be on the naughty list in the Clavin household until they do the right thing and they stop with these antics. Join me, send them a message. Ben and Jerry's, Unilever, and everyone else that we stand with our allies, we stand with Israel. The town of Hempstead stands with you.